this was straight you you know the gem sits like that but you can't hit shots with the gem and get any any uh, feedback so we made up this clipper so we can hit shots with it on just like the gem but we can obviously check our check our feedback so there you see how much of that is vertical lift and on the 45 so here we go you can hit shots with it no bother it doesn't affect the swing weight of the club and it doesn't flap about because uh, it's a very strong clip so Austin. Oh, that's uh, yeah, that's working great. Now the original idea with the clipper was so that you could visually set it on your club like that, and give yourself the forty-five degree throw angle so that now you can visually see that the club's going that way. Now look, if I just do up on the 45 and I don't um, turn, there is where you are. But if you turn, there is where you are. So there's a lot going on in the golf swing, but you need to get your club here to match in because your two moves, one's counteracting the other one. So you turn, and your swing needs to be this side of the circle because when you you turn you are keeping the club on plane on the circle and, and this is where the clipper helps you get that initial part of your takeaway so start slow start going out and turn blend it and get yourself like a uh, 25, 30 yard, easy, probably go further than that actually, that shot. This is a 9 iron, so you're not hitting it hard, you're just out and you can see how under load the release changes, so if, if you're not in motion, your release would be that, but you see, like if I really exaggerate this, right? So if I go that, that way, you can see how under load that looks like you're crossing and flipping your hands like this and flipping your hands like that, but you're not. All your hands are doing is up on the 45, down on the 45, chopping wood like that, see? Now, watch what happens. This is just chopping wood, chopping wood. Watch what happens when you turn. Looks exactly the same as what you see, doesn't it? But it's two moves. Chopping a 45, if you want to call it that. Karate chop. And a turn. And it cancels the move out. So it's. Show you again. So you're just up on the 45. And, and your turn starts same time. Completely cancel now the chop effect. It's not even a big turn. If you watch Mo Norman, he did not uh, turn his shoulders. Was he swinging his arms and hands only? No. He's swinging and, and he was turning. You need very, very little body rotation. Hardly any. Most of us, like me, had. We had far too much body rotation and no vertical lift. The complete opposite of what you need. You need massive vertical lift and hardly any rotation. Now, everything that you watch on the television and everything that 90% of us pick up is wrong on the rotation side because... It's complete nonsense. You need less rotation and more of this. 
mar the two together and you will absolutely stripe it. I mean, if you've watched Ram, if you watch that swing back, does Ram take it back any further than that? And he's, what is he? 328 yards, something in the region of that with driver. And he's very much not a full swinger. Like, he, his body rotation and lift. Just You've just got to get that kind of... You can hear the difference. It's unbelievable. Everything is working. Your uh, body is reacting to the club. Um, the part that really, um, once you've, you know, clipped this on and you, you, you know, this will start to click with you because you're uh, going up here and you, you're just turning whatever your turn is. What will really click with you is the amount of vertical and um, downward ground force you've got virtually instantly because everything is now staying within the previous video you're like you're in a box and you're allowed to move vertically in this box but you're not allowed to move this way right? that's another massive illusion in golf oh yeah i'll hit it further if i transfer my weight how many times you heard that now interestingly when you're doing this right there's right watch so there, I'm 90% on my rear foot. Like, I'm evenly distributed 50-50. So there, I am now 90% loaded. I don't need to be any more than that. So, start off slow. Really slow. And at the range, 9-iron, whatever. Have this clipped on. We'll show you in a minute if you want to make one. You're literally doing that. And that, look where that is. Bang, perfect. But you've got to do it seamlessly, and that's the skill. So it's like, and we'll show you this because it really does. Oh, now if you're in uh, the UK, Poundland sell packs of these really powerful clips for a pound, then as the name suggests. But you get four of them, so. They are really strong, and all you do is get a plastic uh, drinks straw that's rigidish, but you don't want anything any longer, and just use electrical tape, put two wraps around it, and that's it. That must be the cheapest um, swing aid ever made. And like I say, you can use it like the 45 degree line, right? Going up there to show you the throw line, yeah? Or you can use it on your club like the gem, right? But you can hit balls with it like that, as I showed you. So it's got a benefit of two uses. Um, you can also clip it on your putter. And what it does on the putter is quite clever because oh, the putter is obviously key. And mainly what you want to do with a putter, obviously, is the better you get, the more you'll hit it out the middle. So I actually clip it on so that I get a line that's square to the face and in so my hands now i know that my hand if my hands break i want my hands to remain in a sort of set position forward of the blade and i want to keep it like that and the feedback you get with that on is quite amazing because you get feedback on the Hands being ahead and the ball coming out the middle. See, so you can you can use this little gadget on virtually um, 
every club in the bag. We've had it on a nine iron. Stick that on the driver. Uh, I'll show you that actually. We'll hit one more with the driver. Um, and show you it, it works on every club. It's great. So we'll stick it on the driver in the 45 position. Showing you that we're doing exactly the same thing with the driver. And this is the illusion in golf. And you just watch it on the TV and you think, well, it must all be rotationally. Absolutely not. You've got to get the club, your hands, matching in to the 45 with both these here and here. Then you're going here and turning. Bang. Oh, that's, that'll be the golf swing then. So make sure this little move here, look, there. That's you now on the flight line. And now get your earplugs in. There you go. Hit it with the driver, stays on, no bother. And we didn't lose our tee. So thanks for watching the video, and hopefully the audio has worked this time, otherwise I'm going to have to do another voiceover. But the mic is green, and not flashing. Plus, you can just put that in your pocket, in your bag, light as. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching a couple of videos, supporting the channel. Um, I subscribe, and if you want to help out, there's an email address. Just ping us an email. I'll stick your name up in the, you know, like uh, sponsored by, helping out. Stick your name in, you get it out on the channel. If it's a business name, stick that out as well. If it's whatever it is, but you'd be doing a lot helping out, and uh, thanks for watching on this cold but very sunny. So the sun's out, guns out. No, no, it's too cold for that. It's about minus four. So the sun's out, but I'm definitely not getting the guns out.